And welcome to George Andrew Reserve. It's the postponed round 14 game here between the home team, the Dandenong Thunder, against the Green Gully Cavaliers. So one of the big games that unfortunately was postponed last time, but we have a very good crowd here, Ross, in order to watch a game that promises a lot of uh, action. It certainly does promise a lot of action. Uh, Dandenong Thunder uh, last week suffered their first defeat uh, to the hands of uh, Hume City. And as we said uh, last week, Dandenong Thunder suffering its first defeat for the season and what an incredible season and there they are in their red strip there and Green Gully, a very important game for Green Gully against, uh, we must say without doubt, the uh, informed team for 2009 Dandenong Thunder. Let's have a look, uh, last week they lost to Hume City by three goals to nil. And Green Gully Cavaliers, what a, what a great win for them over Melbourne Knights. They defeated Knights by one goal to nil. So they're certainly coming into this game uh, with a lot of confidence, Green Gully. Surely Ross, a very experienced side, of course, uh, the Green Gully Cavaliers. And I guess the player playing the ball. Lovely in. ball there. And great save from uh, Webster, Ross, as you saw again. The goalkeeper. What a dangerous out. ball by Vargas. Look at that and a little touch there. And what a great save. So it's still nil-nil here at George Andrew Reserve. The only game played for uh, this weekend. This weekend, that's right. All the other teams uh, enjoying a break. And to all our viewers, here comes the uh, Cross now, right in front of goal, and has it gone in? It has! Yeah, it has gone in, so Dandenong Thunder drawing first blade here, Ross. A Over dangerous him. ball, but uh, couldn't be cleared off the line there. And let's have a look, that was Matthew Sam no, that was Samuel Bailey. There's the long cross, right into the heart of the defence. As you can see, the player being covered there. Green Gully Cavaliers unable to stop him. And that was uh, Samuel Bailey that put the ball away there. And uh, let's have a look now at Green Gully Cavaliers. Let's see what they can do now. They've already, uh, in this uh, beginning of this uh, game, have suffered uh, the first uh, goal. Here so they come. For the Daniel Thunder, a great way to start this game. Lovely move here. Team. Here come Green Gully. Can they put the ball away? They That's have. The a great equaliser and a And that response. was Matthew Sanders that put the ball away for Green Gully Cavaliers. Great response there by the Green Gully team after conceding that goal. Coming back straight away and there he is, the scorer Sanders, a great turn. Taking on the Dandenong Thunder defence, the shot. And a magic much. shot and Webster of course dove for the ball but couldn't uh, get a hand onto it and as we can see the Green Gully faithful here very happy with that and what a quick reply by Green Gully so one all here at George Andrew Reserve two goals already and as we said in the beginning a game that I'm sure will produce a lot more goals here for the fans Daniel on holding onto position pushing forward with a lot of space nice little the ball here nice touch across goal Open goal there, I don't know but uh, how Green Gully got away with that one, Ross. But the referee has signaled for some sort of infringement. The ball coming from beautiful the, ball there. Veton Corca. And the cross from uh, Sam Bailey. Daniel Thunder controlling the game in the middle of the park. So far in this first half, they're looking at a bit more determined than what the Cavaliers are at this stage of the game. And then they are again finding the openings. Great strides Good here. Run. Brings the ball back in front of goal and, and great another save. near miss there for Daniel and Thunder. And Tedlovsky. But, but they, again, the flag is up, was Got an offside. The flag was up there, but uh, it was uh, Ryan nevertheless Davidson. a great little uh, save there. What a great save there by Ryan Tedlovsky. Davidson. Joe Dioria, the play involved there. And nearly making a 2 0 for Daniel and Thunder which on the last two occasions have really created a lot of dangerous opportunities in front of the Green Gully goals. And there, Vargas, a bit hasty there, the Green Gully defender, as Daniel Diorio Thunder breaks. Now, and he's put it away. Diorio has put the ball away for Dandin on Thunder. And they go forward now, two goals to one. And that was a 
a move surely that Vargas uh, will regret taking that quick free kick. And that was in between the uh, legs there and uh, Diorio. Nothing much that Tilovsky could do with that one. And uh, Danny on Thunder now two goals to one. So they reply. So Danny on Thunder. And they're still coming forward, Ross. I think they had a lot, are putting a position. lot of pressure on the uh, defence of Grand Gully. And uh, a oh, very, a very quick. low trajectory kick Marcus, there. Uh, Marcus Stereopoulos. Stereopoulos, left foot as well, and uh, Tilovsky. But a good free kick, though, from Colin Quirk, who made that earlier run for Daniel on Thunder's Green Gully. Green Pushing Gully, forward. a shot there. And nearly paying off that one. <laughs> as you can see, the ball hitting the upright. That number Beautiful three, ball Stephen from Burton. Way out. Look at that, hit the... And Webster did get a hand to it, but... Uh, and it and it hit the upright uh, the uh, crossbar there so that's the end of the first half and what an entertaining first half dandin on thunder ahead by two goals to one over green gully we'll be back shortly And welcome back for the second half action here at George Andrew Reserve between Dandenong Thunder, the home team, against Green Gully Cavaliers. And what an entertaining first half it was, Ross, with the home team leading by two goals to one. Well, John, uh, Dandenong Thunder uh, came out uh, with all the uh, cannons blaring, I suppose, and uh, were rewarded with a goal. But, gee, the quick reply by Green Gully um, that saw... Um, them reply and uh, go to a one-all but uh, they've certainly put a lot of pressure on the gully defense uh, thunder is, uh, push this, along it's pushing the ball maybe a fraction earlier than what he has to vargas a player of his experience and he was the player that gave that free kick away for his team and resulting in that second goal from the daniel thunder in the first half so here comes dandin on let's see now Great switch of play there with uh, Hingat now. Yeah, on. A nice ball in front there. And situation. hit the crossbar and, and on his own. And it's a goal for Joey Dioria there. And Dioria so puts away his second goal for the day and fortune certainly smiled upon him. Uh, the ball hit the crossbar, came back and he just stood there on his own and possibly some questions in regards to the defence here that uh, decided that the ball was over and they stopped but well, look the, what happened here well exactly and he was fact, on his own the captain of uh, the green gully cavaliers and they all just stopped a bit unfortunate there for green gully because everyone really thought that the ball was out john exactly and uh, but uh, the response was a lot uh, quicker by the daniel thunder players and a scoreline here now for those who have just joined us on the Victorian Football Show. We're watching Green Gully against the Dandenong Thunder and uh, they are doing it uh, quite well at the moment, uh, leading by three goals to one over Green Gully. Three goals to one. Two goals by Diorio and uh, the other one. one by Samuel Bailey. And a goal for Green Gully coming from Matthew Sanders. So Green Gully now, an uphill battle for them. And a reminder of this game. Green. And here come Dandenong Thunder again. Enormous pressure on the defence of Green Gully. There's again the player that put that cross here they in. Here come Jack again, Hinder. right in front of goal. And another one. what a magic strike. And Green Gully looking to me. The team in disarray at the moment. What a fantastic... That, that was Kokorevsky. So 4-1, the score line. And what a... Great, let's have a look at that again. He brought the ball beautifully down and again he was allowed space there, John. That's right. That's right. And it hit the inside of the post and went in. So again, questions in regards to the defence of Green Gully that have allowed too much time and too much space to and the Thunder uh, Shall we say one of the attack. best defences in uh, the, the Premier League, Green Gully. And, and they that's... certainly have, but not today. Mm -hmm. There's exactly. certainly some signs there of uh, some gaps there left in the and The player created line. those was Jack Hingard from the right-hand side for Dandenong. 
Green Gully now, the job ahead of them, John. Uh, four goals to one, a big, big deficit. And, of course, uh, home ground for Dandenong Thunder. So here they come again. They're pushing forward, they're on the break now. We know that Dandenong Thunder Here we go, it's Diorio again. Don't tell me. A shot just across the just goal. Just across the goal. And, of course, he's trying for his hat-trick. Diorio's had scored two goals so far. There is taking on the Green Gully defence. Not far away, that one Colin Quirk was coming on the back and post. Quirk, just a little touch there would have put that ball. There is again Diorio. Diorio, very dangerous, John. Very dangerous indeed. He was involved in a few occasions in the first half. Caught in an offside position as beautiful Parker. switch there by Dandenong Thunder. And here comes the cross right in front of goal. Diorio yeah, in front oh, again on his own. And he puts it away That's for his hat trick. Point. An impressive uh, scoreline here. And George have Andrew a look reserves. at the celebrations. And Dean Fick and then Wesley. Oh, Dandenong Thunder and what an impressive performance by Diorio. He was at the right place, but look again, John. Great on there. his own. Exactly. We have three green and white shirts just looking at Diorio. As we move and into green the last gully now, few really. minutes of this half. Just right... Trying to do what they can, but uh, it certainly looks like uh, Melbourne Thunder have wrapped this one up and uh, have uh, secured the three points today, that's for sure. And here it is, the end of the game, and we see Dandenong Thunder defeating Green Gully Cavaliers by five goals to one. Let's hear what the coaches had to say. Yeah, we were delighted with the uh, with the performance and also the scoreline um, of the game. You know, a very emphatic win for us, and um, I think more so. You know, just uh, coming back off our first defeat last week, uh, we brought back three very experienced players into the team today, and uh, we changed one or two things. But I think uh, the players themselves responded uh, to that loss last week in, in a very emphatic way, and, and to win the game 5-1 was was fantastic for us. Um, it cements our spot at the top, and. Uh, you know, a very hungry group of players and they've done ever so well today and, and you know, it could have been a few more goals. We, we, we had a few one-on-ones with the goalkeeper, Steve Toloski was terrific. Um, but full credit to my players, I thought they were absolutely brilliant today and um, the, the result was just uh, thoroughly deserved them. Uh, I can't be happier.